Alright, what's up YouTube? Looks like we're doing a little update to my 116th e Revo here. And this update's gonna consist of this guy. The T-Bones brace and wheelie bar. Alright. Let's start with this car. Basically a 116th E Revo. Mm, pretty much all stock. Yeah, it's all stock actually. Well, Savok Servo. I ran into a wall or a tree or something, broke the first one. Mm, and I kept tumbling this thing on the on the street, so it's got some hot racing um, metal. We call these body mounts. And parallel adapter for my batteries. Uh, it's got the double black upgrade springs in the rear. 45 weight shock wall front and rear. Oh, and I did install the. I guess I should have made a video on it. I did install the Traxxas upgrade center differential for this guy. It's in here. I'd show it, but you can't really see it. Alright, let's get this started. So, yeah, let's put this guy off to the side for now. Alright, we're all going to open this together. Look what we have here. we got mounting hardware. Mmm. Bumper. Check mounting screw links. Little disclaimer here. Okay. Gotta say, this is pretty well built. This fits well on this guy. I think I'm gonna buy a second one for my slash. Alright, here's instead of instruction man the instructions. So let's go ahead and mount this the same way or orient to everything the same way. This being the rear. This being the front. Take it this is the rear bumper. Wheelie bar. I'm not sure if this has ball bearings in it, but that serves its purpose. Let's make sure it's all in the frame. This is going to turn a long video. Front bumper. I have everything laid on this towel so nothing gets lost for me. Instructions up there. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the front and work our way back. Front. Rear. Center. Bumper mounting hardware, we'll put this up top. And this one's not labeled, so I'm guessing this is the wheelie bar.
All right, first set of instructions says to mount front and rear bumpers on the chassis. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and mount it. We're gonna fast forward right over there. Hold, please. All right, so I've gone ahead and mounted the front rear bumper. Next is installing the wheelie bar. And basic tools are I'm I'm using the nothing fancy. This is these are the stock Allen wrench and cross wrench that my uh, Revo came with. And let's go ahead and install this. Start the nuts. I don't know how good of lighting this is. Kind of hard to tell. I'm getting glare off the camera. So used to working on full size cars, these little cars are kind of tricky sometimes. But that was a piece of cake. Let's go ahead and secure these. Pretty new this hobby still, or else I'd totally be running a bit driver instead. I have one that probably might work, but I have any Allen wrenches that'll fit, or any hex wrenches that'll fit the bit driver. Alright, now that this is installed, this is pretty ready to go. Set this off the side. Move these over so I have a little bit more room. Front, center, rear. Let's take the model out. I've been calling it a toy. So, take the little RC car out. Front, center, rear. And let's go ahead and raise the camera up a bit. Get a better angle on it. All right. Basically, what it wants us to do is remove the screws from the corresponding holes in the chassis brace. Let's set that here. It kind of works off to the side, actually. It looks like it's basically the center pan, four from the rear, four from the front also. Pretty simple. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. I'm going to flash right back to it. Alright, so we've gone ahead and taken out all the screws that are associated with this guy. Alright, now let's go ahead and try to put this guy on. Set that guy aside. We're just going to go ahead and follow this. Start with the front pack. They have a bunch of spacers. Let's go ahead and put all... My monitor just powdered off. Let's go ahead and install all the spacers. And they are all color coded.
You do have to push a little bit on them to get them to sit correctly. Yeah, so you do have to apply pressure to put them in there. Alright, now that we've got all the spacers in its corresponding location, I went ahead and stuck every screw into this guy to each location it's supposed to go in. And now we're just going to go ahead and guide into where it's going to be. My battery just finished charging. And there we go. The center ones are what I'm really worried about because they honestly just they just sit there. They're freestanding. The back ones are I, I'm not really too worried about. Alright. Found a screw gun because these do use Phillips. It did turn all the way down. Watch the torque. Because this is going to plastic. And I'm not tightening them down all the way per the instructions. It says once all of them are started, then work from front to back. Right, let me go ahead and start all these. Then we'll go ahead and tighten them in a second. This is the front of the vehicle, that's the back. Let's go ahead and tighten them all down. I made a boo boo. Some of these aren't actually in the holes. screw gun is you guys can't see it on the camera but I can a few of the screws didn't index properly and that's my fault okay it's gonna be a lot longer video than I was thinking but if this is the kind of video you guys want to see any certain parts you guys want me to buy, put on this. I don't mind doing a review. A review or install. Just for fun, even though this is all coming out of my pocket. Now that that front's in, let's tighten it down. That seems right. That might be too much torque though.
Looks like I gotta charge this thing. <laughs> Got me to the last screw. Alright. Neat. Looks like we're all set for my little Revo. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of the spacers and we'll be right back. Alright, looks like we're all set on this. I don't know where it cut out, but pretty cool looking. Skid plate, so should protect. Looks like it's gonna protect the servo. I've broken a couple servo horns already, and this looks like it should protect the spoiler pretty well. But my spoilers are cracked. Yeah, so there we go. T bones, bash bumper, um, chassis brace, and wheelie bar. So if you guys like like videos like this, I know I'm stuttering a little bit. <laughs> if you guys like videos like this, want me to put anything else on this thing, put in the comments below and I'll go ahead and order it up from another video like this. But until, yeah, until next time guys, there it is.